Let's talk about what happens when the police arrive on scene and what you should do. When the police arrive and you greet them, make sure you don't have anything in your hands. No gun, no weapon, nothing. You must look at the scene from the perspective of an officer. When an officer arrives on the scene, he or she doesn't know what's going on. Only there's been a shooting or whatever was reported. In a moment's time, the officer must decipher who's who and what is happening. The only thing you should say to the police officer is your name. If you are the homeowner, say, I own the home here. That's it. That should be the most interaction you have with the police. Other than, I'm going to wait for my attorney. The officer will probably press you for a statement, especially if someone is injured. They want to know what has happened. That is not the time to make a statement. Making a statement at that point will do you no good. Reason being, you can't remember every single detail that led up to the incident. There is no way to accurately give a full, detailed account of what happened without saying something that could potentially be used against you. Once we're in a situation, we tend to believe we can talk our way out of things, that we can explain things away. And let me tell you something, if you've just shot someone or stabbed someone or used lethal force of any kind, the odds are you are going to jail, at least until things are sorted out. If you know you're likely going to jail either way, the question you have to ask yourself is, do you want to go to jail with a statement that has basically confined you and really is not going to help you or your attorney? Or do you want to wait for your attorney to arrive and then the two of you, once you're in a better situation, can give a statement to the police through your attorney? Think of all the things that are going on. You have adrenaline pumping through you. You are stressed and excited. You weren't expecting this situation to happen. What happens during that time? A biological fight or flight response is great for action, but not so great for remembering and describing details. Sometimes your brain shuts down. You will forget things. When a police officer encounters a shooting on duty, what does he get? When does the officer make a statement? Officers often get at least two sleep cycles before they must come in and make a statement. Imagine you were on a jury for a case like this. The defendant made an initial statement then tried to convince you that the initial statement was not completely correct and there is more information. Versus the officer or prosecutor who only had one simple and well-written statement. How are you going to view that as a juror? A juror is not going to like conflicting statements, even if each time you meant well. Why didn't you tell us all of this up front? Why are you coming back days later with other information? You don't want to put yourself in that position. The other thing you want to do when encountering the police is make sure you tell the officer that you will cooperate with them as soon as your attorney arrives. Why do you say that? Because that should stop all questioning at that point. Now they may try and come to you and say, please tell us what happened. You don't want to go to jail. I'm trying to work with you. We kind of know what happened. Help us out. The fact of the matter is, anything you say can and will be used against you. Notice I stressed the word against you. If I make a statement a hundred times and 99 of those a hundred times I say, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, but one time I say, I did it, the police get to record, the suspect admitted that he did it. They don't have to record the other 99 times, that's just the way the law works. Anything you say can and will be used against you. The main takeaway from this video is as follows. You should walk out to greet the police making sure there's nothing in your hands. The only statement you truly want to make to the police is your name, if you're the homeowner, and that you'll be glad to cooperate with them once an attorney arrives. Right after that is the most important thing. Say nothing else, don't talk. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Make sure you have an attorney ready to go. Don't wait until you may be in this situation to try to find an attorney. Firearms Legal Protection provides an emergency phone number where you can have an attorney available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We'll send one right out to you no matter where you are. For more information, go to our website, firearmslegal.com. Thank you and stay safe.